The battle for the red jersey will be on in earnest this afternoon. There are four Category 1 climbs and it finishes at the top of one such climb to the sanctuary of Acebo. It's through Asturias. It's a race for red. It's a day where Primus Roglic will be put to the test. <laughs> As the stage is now officially underway and the first attack has gone. And it is Ben King from Dimension Data who was amongst the first breakaway. Yep. Now Mark Soler is attacking. This is more like it. That's the sort of move that they need to do. Yep. And the reaction is coming from the climbing Kiwi. It's George Bennett. That's smart by Jumbo Visma. Yes, so they've, they've got it close enough. And then they've decided to go on the attack. And Mark Soler is the right one to go. And now George Bennett is going to cover him, really, just to annoy him. Teo, Teo Gagenhardt is there for Ineos. Yep. And you can see there's the summit, is it? Yes. I think it might be. It is. The blue yep. sign is the summit. Category 1 climb, 10 points added to the tally of Mark Soler in the battle for the King of the Mounts classification. But that is not Soler's objective. Look across the shoulder. Anybody else prepared to work? I'm not sure they can, Mark. No, and what's happened is Vasil Kirienka, he's actually been dropped off the back because he's just going across the top now. Tao Gagenhart, it was from Ineos as well. Daniel Quintana looks like he's just returning from a nature break. Peloton now over the top of the climb, still being led by the four-time time trial world champion, Tony Martin, at three minutes and 14 seconds adrift of the breakaway group of 17. Here we go. I'm expecting Jumbo Bismar to leave Tony Martin on the front until the attacks start. Oh, as long as possible. Yeah, be yeah. prepared to concede ground to the breakaway. The breakaway is not all that important at this point. No. Lining up, aren't they? now does the pacemaking at the front for the second group on the road. They're at a minute and 45 seconds behind. The Peloton's drifted to more than five minutes. Samantier just making sure of the points out of the saddle, look across the shoulder. No challenge from Navarra, likewise O'Connor. Yeah. Peloton across the top at 5.21. Out to 22 seconds on his own. It was down to 14 when it was still the three of them. Yeah, it's a committed chase, isn't it? Hardly any wind through the valley. It is a beautiful day for any sport outdoors. He looks twisted on the bike. He never looks comfortable. He does. He looks a bit more... Normal. Yeah, I just thought that as you said it. He's... Oh, he's attacking straight past. He's not waiting. He's a powerhouse. Three and a half kilometres to the base of the climb. This is an all-out sprint by Sinetier to stay on the wheel of Kedienka. <laughs> he's latched on. Start of the climb. They hold on to an advantage of five minutes and one second over the peloton. 45 seconds to their former breakaway companions. The number's not quite coming up for the climb, but I can tell you it's 7.9 kilometres long with an average gradient of 9.7%. But there are some really steep pinches going over 10% and up to around about 12%. Sementier is now attacking Vasil Kedienka. The 24-year-old Spaniard is inspired. He is really inspired, isn't he? He's been out there on the climb before, the previous climb. He was the one who started the attack. And now he's just launched on Vasil Kirienka. Oh, this will hurt. 15%, 16, and a bit more. Not sure he was expecting that. This is Sepkus in the yellow colours. He's now caught Kirienka. He's got Verdun just behind him, followed then by O'Connor. This is Luis Leon Sanchez at the front of the peloton for Astana. This is Sepkus. He's closing in. 
Looking green light territory for Sepp Kuss to it, potentially win the stage. It is, and he's put a gap into everyone else. So Sepp Kuss here, he's ridden smart. He's done just enough. And interesting to note, Rodriguez has not been able to follow. So it has sort of backfired a little bit on the Uscuddy Basque country Muriaz squad. Rodriguez, but it's a long climb. It's a long way to go. And when he won the stage of La Camperona, he was dropped early. He did exactly that. He Well, he stayed calm and just rode his own tempo. And for Sepp Kuss now, he's free to fly. He will go for it. And you can see, in fact, Rodriguez is back in that next group. So Rodriguez is there. It's for the peloton. It's sure it's dwindled right down, but it's a tempo setting. Valverde now goes. Second in the general Hunter, classification, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Alejandro Valverde. The reaction is coming from Primoz Roglic. So far, the Slovenian has the answers. And the question now has been asked, the third overall, Pogacar. Yeah. Sepp Kuss looks to be, at the moment, unless he cracks on target for his first round to a stage victory. Yeah, he looks good. And Mark Soler, he's just faltering a little bit there. Trying to follow the wheels of Tao Gegenhart. And Mark Padilla looked like he was putting in a good climb as well. Valverde, he's at 3.21 behind Sepp Kuss. Kuss has got five kilometres to go. I can't see him surrendering three minutes and 20 seconds in 5Ks. Sepp Kuss, 32 seconds, 2.2 kilometres. He's on target. Yeah, it's working to his favour, isn't it? And the fact that... When Erdo and Gegenhardt are together, it actually makes it harder for them to catch him because they'll start to catch mass, which they're already doing. This is a great battle, and it's as if they've given up, uh, certainly on the Valverde group. It's not just a race for the white jersey, it's race for third yeah. overall, a spot on the podium in Madrid. 1,000 metres remaining for Sepp Kuss. He is on the brink of the biggest moment in his career. Well, he's got 46 seconds now, so he's gradually been taking time. Is it too early to start thinking about his victory celebration? No, I think he's, uh, I think he's in the box seat. And uh, look, 50 seconds. They won't catch him. They will not catch him. Mark Soler, Soler. yet again. And they're catching another rider from the break. Is it San Ahmed? Yep, from Lotto Sudal. Izaguera now working in support of Lopez, then Pogacar. And because of the tactical game between those two, Micah has returned. Yeah, Micah, he knows how to hang tough. And that's exactly what he's done here. And he'll be making some gains on Nato Quintana. Set course, 50 seconds. The Yumbo Visma team have been one of the biggest stories of the season. So much success at the Giro d'Italia, likewise at the Tour de France. It's getting even bigger at the Volta a España. One of the young recruits, the American, at just 24 years of age, Sepp Kuss, in his second season with the team. He's just a matter of a few hundred metres away from a stage victory. Yeah, and that looks like that was the King of the Mountains points there. Obviously, it's not at the very top, but that's where they take the points. Guerrero now attacks. So they're all chasing for second place now at 52 seconds. Rodriguez just got this is the small concrete track. This did not exist six months ago. This has been laid down. The celebrations have started, Set Kuss. He's going with the high fives. He is. He's going to enjoy this. He would have been told what the margin is. He knows he's inside the last few hundred metres. It's a tough few hundred metres, but he wants to enjoy every little bit of this. As you pointed out, Matt, he's shaking the head. It's his first grand tour stage win. Just 300 metres to go. Soak it up. It's time to enjoy. This has been so well deserved. Throughout the first two weeks, he has sacrificed for Roglic. He was given the green light, and he has grabbed it with both hands. From Durango to Acebo, Sepp Kuss is about to win a mountaintop finish at the Volta da Spagna. This is the biggest win in his career, and surely it's just the beginning.
High fives for everyone. It is time to celebrate. Soak it all in because Kuss is the king of the mountains as he wins stage 15 of the Volta Espana. The smile stretches from ear to ear. Simply brilliant. Kuss collects big time. The sprint, though, for second place remains to be tight. Former teammates. It is Ruben Guerrero, though, who's still got his nose in front of Teo Gagenhart. Gagenhart, though, fighting his way back, looking for some room up the inside. He's run out of road, though. It's Guerrero in second, Gagenhart in third. Oh, that was a battle. They controlled the race. They've won the stage. And Roglic. It's Valverde who's with him, but he's extended his advantage to everybody else. A stranglehold now on the red jersey. Craddock can afford a smile because that has been a huge ride by him. Roglic and Valverde together, no time gap. Pogacar to the better of Lopez, just got caught up the inside of Marc Soler. Lopez trying to make the most of it, looking to gain a few seconds. Pogacar fights. Lopez, he's not going to get the gap because the young Slovenian has found the legs to stick with Lopez. They cross the line together and that is fitting. Here comes Kelderman, followed by Quintana. At the back is Higita. And Pernsteiner. It's Pernsteiner? Yep. It is. I wasn't sure whether it was him or Toynes. It is Herman Pernsteiner. <laughs> Is the stage classification Sepkus winning ahead of Ruben Guerrero? It was then Teo Gagenhart in third, Oscar Rodriguez fourth, Mark Verdun in fifth, Ben O'Connor sixth, followed then by Lawson Craddock. It was then the race amongst the top two in the overall standings, Roglic and Valverde coming in together at 2.14. Sepp, La Vuelta stage winner, how big is it for you? Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty big, I guess. Uh, it uh, honestly hasn't quite sunk in, but um, yeah, just uh, incredible day. Were you in the break to ride in support of uh, Primoz? When did you get the green light to go for yourself? Yeah, um, you know, we, we were uh, attentive in the start and uh, um, we knew Movistar and Astana would probably send some guys in the break and uh, yeah, Soler and uh, Izagiri, um I saw them go and I knew they were strong riders and they might uh, use them for some tactics later on so I followed and um, uh, the gap was still a bit close in the middle of the stage so uh, yeah I just made sure to only follow because um, I was thinking that maybe uh, the GC group would, would catch us uh, before on the last climb and then I could help Primo's but then when the when the gap went out to a, a bigger margin again um, then it was uh, uh, enough time to, to go for the, the stage win. Can you share with us uh, how you shared your joy with the spectators at the end? <laughs> yeah, I think, um, you know, that's that's what makes the, the Volta so special is the, the passion of the fans. And, uh, you know, I've, I've had uh, a lot of uh, good days where they're enthusiastic and also on your bad days, you know, when you're uh, 30 minutes behind the, the winner and they're giving you pushes up the, the steep climbs and uh, still cheering you, and I think that's that's really special, and it's what makes cycling so uh, such an incredible sport, is the, the fans. Thank you, well done. Hoy a Cospidista, mira la juventud, lo hace también con Seth Kuss con 24 años, y esa gran victoria conseguida ante todos nosotros con esas felicitaciones y con ese reconocimiento especial de todo el público, gracias también a Cospidista. And there is the top 10, Roglic, Valverde, Pogacar, Lopez, then Quintana in 5th, Micah 6th, Ede defends in 7th, Calderman 8th, Carl Frederick Hagen in 9th, and Pernsteiner into 10th position. Con oh, final el alto de la cubilla, también con tres puertas puntables, durísimas que van a tener, y con ese premio especial de Carrefour en la línea de, de meta del día de hoy, en el Santuario de la Cebo. Felicidades también para nuestro antiguo campeón del mundo de saltos de esquí.